What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf. The Raf Cable. We're back to another unboxing video. Now, guys, I was sent a uh, a product that might be very useful for pet owners all over the world. This is a automatic pet feeder. Now, if you ever, you know, away from home, right, and you want to feed your pet, and you want to have something that feeds your pet at a certain time, pet feeder is going to be what you need, right? So, I think this is fantastic, especially in the morning. Because if I'm sleeping, dog's hungry. I don't have to get up to feed the dog. <laughs> Pet can just go right to the feeder and wait. Get the food at a certain time. It's fantastic. So I'm going to talk to you guys about this one. It's the Pet Feeder. Let's talk, let's talk about this, guys. Check it out. This is made by Woolpet. Automatic Pet Feeder, which is really awesome. Uh, basically, you can set it up to uh, four different times, uh, up to eight portions. So it's, it'll handle a small dog, big dog. Uh, this one, you can actually add your voice if you want to have a, a voice uh, like activation or let's say like, hey, get your pet's attention. Use your voice, which is cool. Um, but also, uh, you can set the time. You can set four different times, like say breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe a custom time. Uh, you can set the portions, like I said before. And uh, it's very easy to clean, which is good. Uh, it runs on either AC power or batteries, which is nice, just in case... Uh, power cord gets unplugged you have a back a backup power supply it's also very sturdy as well so if it drops um this won't spill food any, everywhere even if your dog hits it it won't dump everywhere it's got a lock system uh, easy to clean as well uh, but also it's a uh, it's a really good idea so i think let's give it a shot guys so i'm gonna unbox this for you check out what's inside and do a little demo and see how it works all right let's un unbox this bad boy all right so here's the box here pretty standard stuff see what we get all right so as we open it up just uh, sitting inside here all right looks like we got some parts here okay all right this must be the top it's got to open and close locking when you twist it uh, let's see we got some kind of a a tray here so we have the stainless steel bowl here which is nice all right and we got uh looks like the the bowl holder here goes in the bottom what else do we got like this is the uh container where the food goes we're gonna take it there Got foam padding around it for shipping. Very nice. Wow, okay. All right. It's a little padding bottom there. Okay, so we get instruction manual here. It's like the uh, power supply and the cable. Standard uh, USB power brick here. Looks like we got uh, H, uh, USB uh, 2 mini, USB mini here, USB mini. And looks like your instruction manual. All kinds of good stuff there, right? Okay, main event time. So we got some test food inside the bag. What is that? Ah, I guess they tested it up before shipping, huh? Okay. All right, so you see here, here's the little uh, grinder fan thing that pushes the, the food inside there, which drops out right here. Got your LED screen right here with a bunch of buttons, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, and the bottom is going to be where your D batteries go. It looks like your power on and off. Oh, yeah. Four days. All right. So how do we construct this thing here? All right. So we're gonna put this together. Like you just uh, snap this in here. Okay. Good. And locks in. Nice large bowl. I think this is seven liters. Right here. Very nice. Okay. So far, so good. Like we got the top here. So with this here, we just 
twist. Yeah, I should lock it in. All right, so now it's locked in. Not able to take it off. Twist it. And then pull it off to refill it. All right, guys, so that little uh, filter cover thingamajig goes inside this little plate in, in the top lid. And it just folds down like that. And on the bottom, as you see these two grooves right here, that's where the uh, the tray goes into. Slide that up like this. Boom. Of course, your bowl. It's just like that. All right, guys. So here is the completed feeder. Very easy to put together. And what we'll do now is we're going to go upstairs, plug in the power supply, fill it up with food, and then we'll get involved with this uh, little readout here and see how this all works. All right, guys, let's go upstairs. All right, guys, I'm about to install it here. And we got the power cord plugged in there. And what you do is you run the cable inside the battery compartment underneath the, the flap there. So we'll put the cover back on. The wire will be rested neatly inside there. And then we'll get her done. All right, guys. So after you uh, flip the power switch on the bottom, it'll turn on. You get this blinking uh, green light. That means the power is good. Uh, so we definitely want to set the time. So what you do is you want to hold this gear button down. Now we're in the hour. Uh, so right now the time is 11.16. So that's good there. And bring this down to 11. And go up over again, 16. All right, so time is set. Now it says meal. Uh, so the first meal, it looks like it's asking for how, how much servings do you want. So you can go up to eight. I'm going to go to six. And it says what time do you want that to be at? And we'll say seven thirty AM. And then if you want to make a second time, um, so I'll say I'll do breakfast and dinner. We'll do the same serving and we'll set this to be at five o'clock. Which Actually, would be military time, so five o'clock would be. Uh, uh, let's see if my military time is still correct. Six, six, sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred is five o'clock. All right, guys. So I figured out how to get rid of um, eating times. Uh, so basically, you go through the time, and see how it says meal one is seven servings. We have seven thirty in the morning. Keep clicking the button here, and setting two is going to be the second time that I feed uh, Loki. So I'm doing breakfast and dinner. So dinner is going to be, you know, seven servings at five o'clock. And let's say that's all you want to do. No more meals, right? So what you do is you just go down to zero, right? So zero servings. Keep clicking, and then the final cert final feeding, I set that to zero. So I'm only feeding Loki twice, but if you guys want to do up to four times, you can just set the servings. And that's it. And it automatically goes back to, to default mode here. So the time is set. I have two servings, one and two, both seven servings each. And uh, that's it, guys. Okay, so now let's talk about the microphone. Um, so if you want to record your, your voice, you want to hold down the microphone, and uh, you can record up to a 10-second message. Let's try it. Hey, Loki, time to eat. Let's get some food. All right, let's... Hey, Loki, time to eat. Get some food. <laughs> All right, so there's a mic. <laughs> now, if you want to feed uh, your pet manually, you just hold this uh, button down, and that'll feed one portion. You just keep, you know, doing it. If you want another portion, another portion. That's how that works. Um, otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it. So let's uh, let's see how it works at uh, the right time.
All right, I'm gonna put in a scoop here just to get ready. Don't wanna to use too big a chunks, right? That's that's one scoop. That's what you usually uh, feed our dog. But I'm gonna put put in two scoops just to have enough. All right, Loki. Loki, you hungry? Come here. Look at this. Let's get some food. Hey, Loki, time to eat. Get some food. Good boy. Is that good? Is that good? You like that? That's the feeder. Yeah, I know you smell the food in there. We'll give you one more. One more more. <laughs> Good boy. That's a little treat. You have to wait until dinner time. All right. Good boy. Okay, we gotta wait. No more. All right, guys, so one minute until 5 o'clock. It is at 16.59, and we set it for 1,700, which is 5 o'clock. And uh, this thing is really cool. Um, so Loki has been trying to get at it, so he hasn't. Yeah, it's going to go in a minute, Loki. You're going to get some food. Pretty awesome. This thing is nice. Easy to set up, fun, easy to clean if you need to. Almost time. It's gonna hit that 17, five o'clock soon. Let's see what happens. Now I set it for seven servings. Yeah, you're a good boy. I know you're waiting for food. There it goes. <laughs> so that's seven servings right there. So I'm definitely going to have to go to eight servings. Going to max it out. But Loki's very happy, not scared, patiently waiting for it. Good job, Loki. Good boy. Is that good? I know you want a little bit more. All right, we'll give you one more serving. <laughs> good boy all right guys so this is the uh unboxing and showing you guys of the uh automatic pet feeder from one pet good boy good boy loki good boy loki <laughs> bye bye all right guys so back in the close out the video here i want to thank uh the company for sending me that uh cool pet feeder and uh it worked it worked out great it was easy to set up easy to install and uh, my pet was not afraid of it at all and was more than eager to eat from it. Uh, I would say that uh, the portion should be a little bit bigger. I'd say go to 10 servings. I think that would be good, 10 servings. And then also the, the motor could be a little stronger. Um, so make sure you don't use too big of uh, dog food or cat food. But if that motor could be a little stronger, it would uh, churn out that, that food a little quicker because a lot of times it was a little slow. Anyway, guys, other than that, I think it's fantastic because if you're not home, you know your pet's going to get fed at certain times, which is nice. So that's very good. If in case you're going on vacation or you're leaving the house for the night, you know your pet will be, will be taken care of. So that's good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to pick yourself up one, there's a sale on it right now on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one. I appreciate it. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share again. I'll see you in the next one. Raph out. See you guys. Bye.